Hi everyone, welcome back to Outside Xbox. I'm Andy, joined by Mike. Hello! And we are looking at some new gameplay from Deus Ex Mankind Divided, showcasing aggressive stealth. Yeah, that's, my favourite. Uh, that's what you're into, isn't it, Mike? I mean, probably more of the aggressive than the stealth. But. Yeah, just aggressive rather than stealth. You can see here Adam's using the remote hack ability, which right. is this kind of like golf swing oh, thing that I he does now. golf swings. Yeah, how do you feel about Mario Golf? Um, Ba pretty bad about okay, it. Okay, well, it's basically that now, which is good. It so, looks nice, though. Yeah, it is. It's pretty cool. So you can hack cameras and turrets and things from a distance now. You don't have to get right up to them. Um, it only disables them for a, a short amount of time. Yeah. Here he's using the uh, the cloaking ability to move through a, a laser grid. Yeah. Because you've got, like... Uh, he's getting pretty close to those guys, and they haven't spotted him. Yeah, well, presumably he's not, like, a heavy breather or anything. <laughs> he looks but, like a heavy breather. So that's the aggressive part of the aggressive <laughs> stealth there. Um, wow, he just shot that guy. Is I that guess even silence? It is silence. I okay. mean, le that looks like a silence on the front. It was still pretty loud. Mm. But uh, So everything costs you battery, right? So you can see down in the bottom left, you've got your battery, mm -hmm. uh, which is like the power cells you had in, in the last one, but mm -hmm. it sort of gradually regenerates over time. There are that's some good. augments that you use that will sort of permanently lower your maximum uh, battery level right. until you use a fuel cell to recharge. So it's sort of a mix of those two kind of mechanics. Though. Yeah, exactly. So there's still, you can't just use all your augments all the time and wait for everything to recover. The back of his head looked really weird there. Yeah. Oh, man. This is really aggressive stealth, I've got to say. This is like a stun pistol. Oh, is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. No, it's a 10 millimeter pistol. Look, oh, it? it's oh. bullets. That guy's head exploded. Nano blade. So that's another a new thing. You just fire a giant blade at someone's blade head. Blade out of your arm and someone's face. Alright, bit more remote hacking oh going no. on here. He's been cornered by a couple of YouTubers with drones. <laughs> <laughs> couple of Vine stars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just filming their latest Vine. <laughs> well, that one's on his side now, so that's fine. That's cool. Well, he's getting shot quite a lot, I must say. Yeah, you wouldn't have been getting shot this much. That's so how you can tell it's not Andy playing. Yeah, they wouldn't even know I was Oh, here. wow. Such verticality. Yeah, exactly. That's what they're showing off here, is how vertical the levels are. That guy's like 10 stories above you. Yeah, right. That thing's about to stop being hacked, so you oh. should really get out of there, Run mate. Away. Whoever's playing <laughs> over at Square. Ah, oh, such a pretty sunset. So a bit more stealth here. You can see the cover systems kind of change now. You can move around corners, and uh, you can sort of look towards different bits of cover and you can press X to sort of scamper over to them and oh. snap into cover. So a bit like swoop in Thief and blink in Dishonored. Sort of like that, yeah. You just sort of run into position and if they're not looking directly at you, you won't be spotted. And then you can sort of, as you can see, he's just going to move around and I think non-lethally take down this guy. This guy to sleep. Oh, gee, wow. Okay, well, so I mean, non-lethal. Batman school of non-lethal takedowns. Yeah, he's still alive, if you can call it living. <laughs> All right, we're going to get a look at the Icarus Strike here. This is towards the end of this level in Dubai. Wow. What? You can so just jump off? You jump off, and then if you hold the thing down, you land with a massive ground pound Jeez. and just completely own everyone. Oh, like I walked into that one. Oh, man. So many triangles. This is not how I'm going to be playing, I don't think. Well, so this is a chance to see what it looks like when you're playing it properly. For you. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot speak to me. All right, and now this is a quick look at um, one of the social boss battles from the game using the KC augment, right. which is uh, similar to the system they had in the first game, mm. where you could get sort of personality clues mm. and pick up on which way people would lean in a conversation. Right. So this gives you a sort of psychological profile of the guy. And then you can work out for yourself which is the correct way to try and persuade him. That's pretty cool. But So sort of like L.A. Noir's interrogation thing, but less confusing. Less confusing than that. And you can see in the top left they've got that response level which shows you how you're doing with the person. So he didn't really like that. He's popped down into the negative there. But also you can see which uh, kind of synapses, I guess, are firing in his brain. So you can see... He's going a bit Omega there, a bit Beta was flashing. Right. So you're going to want to go for either Omega or Beta here. And it tells you which it gives you the best results for when you choose I the... Uh, probably Patronize isn't the way to go. <laughs> so I would say Turntables would be the I right choice. I said don't go with it. <laughs> this isn't me playing. Square's not tell, listening. But <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's see if how that affected him. No, Oh, no, no, no. That was good. Bumped him back up to neutral. Fair enough. Oh, he's relaxed oh, now. He's chilled out, yeah. Yeah, excessive pupil contraction. 
I'm not sure if you can just bypass this entirely and just pin him to the wall with a nano blade. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like staple his head to a wall or something. But look how much more fun this is. Do you think Adam Jensen does this when he's like going to the shops to buy bread and stuff? Yeah, he gets a really good price on bread. All right, we're going to have a look at the uh, the Tesla non-lethal augmentation here, which is basically a hand taser. Oh, amazing. But if you upgrade it, you can target several people at once. It's just what Nikola Tesla would have wanted. It's exactly, yeah. It was his, uh, his final invention. <laughs> right, and the Icarus Dash augment as well which can be used for navigation as well as just sort of dashing around behind yeah. people and stabbing them so oh it is blink from dishonored it's basically exactly blink from dishonored but because cool. the levels are so much more vertical now it's going to come in handy for oh, actually yeah, getting definitely. around them it's you can see there how much it's lowered his uh, his maximum oh, battery yeah. amount because that's quite a high cost augment that one this is the titan shield which turns you into a load of triangles okay. but also <laughs> it makes you completely impervious to damage oh, that's pretty cool doesn't last very long though we're gonna have a look at hacking now the hacking system is broadly the same as it was previously but uh it, it looks a lot nicer yeah. now so it's still like kind of nodes and you yeah know. yeah exactly and you've got a security rating that you'll have to upgrade and you can only hack certain things when you have a certain security rating and you get a percentage chance of being detected. Once yeah. you're detected, you have a time limit before you get locked out of the system. I thought this was really fun in the first game, so I'm glad it's back. It is fun and it looks it just looks a lot nicer now. Mm. Access Nailed granted. It. All right, so that was a quick look at some new gameplay from Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Bye.